Last week, we worked on calculating bacon numbers, and we did that both in Excel and in Python. And what I hope you took away from last week's videos and also from last week's exercises is that the tool you use influences what solution you can come up with. If you're working in Excel, then typically you think in terms of cells and references between cells. And if you have to work with lists in Excel, you have to use array formulas and it's possible, but it's harder and this limits the way you can think. Whereas if you solve the same problem in Python, it gets a lot easier because lists are first class citizens. You can just take any range in the spreadsheet and put it into a list immediately. And if you want to do some sort of operation on your list, like a minimum, you just have to use minus and the list that you want to work on. You don't have to fiddle with array formulas. So because you're using Python, you, it's easier to work with lists because they are built in in Python and you don't have to go through a lot of trouble. And this, exactly this idea holds in many cases. So if you use the wrong tool for the job, then it's not only less efficient to hammer a screw in, it's not just that, that it gets harder, it also limits your imagination. If you always build stuff with a hammer, then probably you're never going to come up with the dove tool connection, because this is a connection where you connect wood without using any nails, so you don't need a hammer. And if you're always grabbing for the hammer first, you will never come up with this solution. And this exact same idea holds in data problems. If you always sit down at your spreadsheet immediately, there are some sort of solutions that you're just never going to come up with because they don't fit in the spreadsheet paradigm. And that's what this week's videos are all about.